Good morning and welcome back to Universal Studios Hollywood. Today we're back to check out all of the holiday festivities because today is the first day of holiday you do you here at Universal Studios Hollywood. So let's get rolling. We're gonna check out everything new inside of the theme park along with all the new treats and uh, <laughs> so much more. So let's, let's get rolling. So I lied, it's, it's not morning, it's uh, like four o'clock, but I was here earlier um, and I thought I would make my intro later on in the day where all the lights are on, we don't have to wait for the tree lighting and stuff um, because there isn't much to show. There isn't many updates inside of the theme park. Grinchmas is essentially the same. We do have a, a new show. We do have some new offerings. So we're gonna get into depth with all of that. We also rode the, the studio tour. So there's some updates on the studio tour. I'll show you in just a minute. I just wanted to start my update over here in front of the studio tour because we do have a major update going on at the studio tour. First of all, the earthquake attraction is still closed for refurbishment. I know a lot of you have been asking about that as well as Norman Bates Bates Motel. That location is closed off right now uh, for refurbishment to our knowledge. Universal hasn't said anything about it but the entire Bates Motel is under construction. They have walls up around it. There's a piece of the hotel that is missing. Making classic silent movie westerns starring Tom Mix, Luke Gibson, Ken Maynard, filmed in our western sets areas here on Denver Street and in Six Points. Sound era, we've done classic westerns. Norman Bates takes care of his mother. On the right, around the corner, two of the most iconic sets ever created. The Bates Motel at Norman Bates' house, but Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Now the story goes, Marion Crane steals $40,000 from her boss. She's on the run from the law. Marion pulls into the Bates Motel. We're going to take you by Norman's house, coming up at the top of the hill on the left side. Now, if you look up to the second floor window in the front of the house, right before the porch, as we go by, you might see mother up there. Well, look, Norman Bates is home. He's on the porch. But Norman's looking very upset, maybe having a bad day. We'll just go around the corner, leave Norman alone. We have nothing at all to worry about. Along with the studio tour is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is uh, under construction right now over here in the extended queue of Forbidden Journey. Not ideal to have under construction, especially uh, with the peak season coming up in a few weeks. So uh, just keep and I'll, I'll keep an eye out for this. Um, I think the construction walls shouldn't be up for much longer. It's been up for about two weeks now. The Grinch is walking towards us right now in his very festive sweater. <laughs> Did I say the Grinch or Shrek? <laughs> well, whatever I said, I meant Shrek. And Fiona's out. What's going on? Street Sweep is out. Okay, okay, okay.
All right, and that was the holiday street sweep, and I think it's only appropriate to make way into, oh, Whoville. <laughs> There's the, the Grinch that just walked past us. It just smells like onions, it reeks. <laughs> but okay, walking into Whoville, which uh, looks about the same as always. Maybe not. Oh, okay, maybe not. Wait, where, <laughs> where's the Grinch's um, meet and greet? Is it not in Whoville anymore? Well, anyways, um, Grinch's meet and greet is no longer here for some reason. This is trim up the tree lot. And okay, I see. You draw your own ornaments and you can decorate one of these uh, Christmas trees. And I'm, I'm sure it resets every day, but one funny ornament I just saw right now at the corner of my eye is Freddy Fazbear. It says, har har. <laughs> <laughs> and someone wrote an ornament saying, whoever did this, I love you. <laughs> I love that. But the rest of Whoville looks about the same. Obviously, the Christmas tree is a little different. It changed about two to three years ago. 2021 uh, brought in this new, beautiful Christmas tree. Um, and recently, they added these new benches. Uh, this wasn't here last year. Cindy Lou Who's out right now. Uh, in front of the schoolhouse, she did her uh, story time with Cindy Lou Who recently. They're putting away the rugs uh, because that show just ended. Uh, but the meet and greet for the Grinch is now located up here to the left in front of the Whoville post office, uh, which is very weird, very different spot. But on top of that, we have a new show, the Hoobie Doo Wops. Uh, first show is at 11.30, and then following that first show, there's 12.30, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. There's the Grinch. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. And then, let's see, let's see the wait time for the Grinch. 90 minutes. 90 minute wait. Not that bad. Oh, look at that. They, okay, so instead of, um writing your message to the Grinch in front of the post office. You could write it before you get in line to meet the Grinch, and I, I, I'm assuming you could just give it to him personally. What is going on over there? <laughs> That's funny. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the new meet and greet spot for the Grinch. I enjoyed that location a lot more. Honestly, it felt a little more organized. It made Whoville feel a little bit bigger too, and now it just, it feels empty. It feels like there isn't much to do. I really hope in the future they can relocate Grinchmas to a different area and uh, expand onto it. Obviously, in prior years, we had like real snow you could play with. Um, probably not the smartest thing to have, but it, it was cool. It was cool for the time. Um, but I feel like they could do so much with Grinchmas and it, it feels like it downgraded. Over the years, Grinchmas has become this small event almost under the shadow of Halloween Horror Nights. And what I'm always looking forward to Universal doing is new events. And I feel like in the future, maybe next year or the year after or whenever, I feel like Universal should make their own after hours event for the Christmas time. So how we have Halloween Horror Nights, they could do Christmas Merry Nights and they can have like Christmas walkthroughs, special shows, special live entertainment, different things to see and do inside of the theme park. Um, but uh, as a separately ticketed event, they could do it similar to um, Horror Nights where you have to pay, a separate ticket, pay for a separate ticket to attend, or um, you could buy a pass for it. Uh, they could have like a season pass for the Christmas Merry Nights, same way as uh, they have the Frequent Fear Pass for Horror Nights. And the meet and greet for uh, Max is right over there. I think last year it was uh, right by the post office. And obviously since the park is a little bit busier during the Christmas season, they can obviously do it on select nights. They don't have to do it every night. But um, yeah, we have about 10 more minutes until the Hooby Doo Wop show begins. So I'm just gonna be waiting around this area. I, I don't feel like sitting down. I think I'm gonna stand up and watch it. I also don't wanna block anyone, so 
I'll stand up back here. I think this is a good view. The stage is elevated. And a dash of a ruler day sound. It's the music that gives you your hips and your hops. Here they are for a treat. It's the Ruby Doo-Wops. <laughs> I do have to say is I miss being at Universal. I miss coming as often as I used to. There isn't much. There isn't a reason for me to come as often as I used to because, I mean, no construction in the park right now. Outside of like the Fast and Furious construction site, there still isn't much going on uh, there. Probably more updates on Fast and Furious in December or January. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But the park is so pretty right now. This is my favorite time of year um, from like September to December. Universal is in its peak from Halloween to Christmas. I mean, Christmas is so pretty at Universal. All these lights, all the twinkling lights, and it just gets better and better as, as we go uh, far into Universal. And you'll, you'll see in just a moment how beautiful Universal is at night. Unfortunately, this end of New York Street is still under construction, so we don't have any snow here. Like I was saying, no snow on New York Street. I think that's like my highlight for Grinchmas every year or Christmas time at Universal in general. I just love seeing the snow on New York Street, but it's, it's okay. It's under construction. It'll probably be back next year. Um, but this section of the park is just outstanding. They go above and beyond in, in the pets area, this um, newer section of Universal, we could call it. Um, the holiday tree lighting begins at 5.30, so everyone's getting ready for that as well, for that very first showing of the tree lighting. This balloon was throwing me off, um, but there's already a lot of people waiting for it to begin. The benches are all full. I'm not here to watch the tree lighting quite yet. I think we'll watch some of the later shows of the Who lighting. Those are um, those are the better shows to watch. Oh wait, actually, never mind. We might be watching it because I just ran into Mr. Sebastian. <laughs> so Sebastian got something really, really cool. This is a Hedwig. What is that? Like an owl That's in the movie? Great. I haven't seen the Harry Potter movies in a long time, so don't judge me, but. It moves around and does it stay on well or because I, I bought one from Disney not a moving one but oh yeah that's cool yeah the ones at Disney don't stay on <laughs> that's cool it moves around and stuff how much was that like 50 bucks 55 55 okay that's not that bad it moves, it moves. <laughs> Inside a 
no sleep. There happened a story you must see to believe. We welcome all to join our grandest tradition. Who's over here? All the who's out there? Who's from every which way and where? Welcome to the Hooperation! You see, Cindy Lou, the Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on quite right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But we think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Yes, the Who's here in Hoover liked Christmas a lot. <laughs> I 
brought it all back to you. Guys! You guys! Can't we just get back to Christmas the way it's supposed to be? Grinchless! Oh. Bring me the book. Get the book! Get the book! Where's the book? 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 And I quote, the term Grinchy will apply when Christmas spirit is in short supply. Yes, but the book also states that... And what happened then? Well, in Hoover they say, that the Grinch is so hard. Three sizes that day. I won't go to you, sir. No! I really do! Looking around, he puzzled. And he puzzled some more. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas! He thought. Does it come from a storm? Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. Welcome Christmas! Bring your cheer! Cheer to all who starve and new. Christmas Day will always be just as long as we have we. Welcome Christmas while we stand heart to heart. As Mayor of Whoville, I hereby decree. Let us light this stupendous, magnificent tree! And above Jurassic Outfitters, this is the third photo op for a limited time, only a few weekends, that you could meet the Grinch. It's just chilling up here. No one's here. No line. It's incredible. <laughs> Let's go take a picture with the Grinch. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. What do you want? Those two in the picture. You want these two? Yes. Oh, look at this guy. He's so cute. You want to eat it? <laughs> Luckily, I have my cookies right now. Are you coming or not? That's right. Get in here. Get nice and tight. Oh, just... Yeah. Yeah, just throw it over there. Who cares? <laughs> I heard someone got uh, possessed by an owl. Vile rumors, if I've ever heard them. Yeah. Do you know what you want for Grinch Finch? You're stammering. Maybe a PS5. I, you got that? JP wants that. JP wants that, yeah. A PS5. A PS5? Yeah. What about you? You already got now, so suck it up. <laughs> it's going to go to his viral like 30,000. That's right. <laughs> Where'd you go? Get back in here. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Someone bring you an onion? I said you're welcome. Oh, thank you. I said you're welcome. And yes! Someone brought me an onion. Do you want to see the bite mark out of it? Yeah. That's all Ooh. me. That's all me, baby. That's a baby oh bite, though. You think you could do better? I think so. Well, let's not stand in the way of the master. No. 
Go ahead. Oh, Do you want to no. take the same bite I took? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what adds flavor, baby. Bite, 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 I don't want to eat it. Uh, you know that's been sitting there all day. Yeah, that's why I don't want to eat it. <laughs> you did that. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, hey, if you're you know, thinking about it, you might as well. You've gone in already. I you might as well finish it. it. <laughs> finish it. Yeah. Ah! Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, I can't, God. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Isn't that just delicious? <laughs> hey. Look at my hey. bite, though. My bite is way better. Shut up, you're a freak. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you! Nice meeting you. Pretty sure the Grinch was shedding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think it's only right to give this back to the Grinch. It it's his good. hair. It's, it's his hair. Good. He needs it. He needs it. Or maybe he's balding. I know you people. Alright guys. Make sure those cameras um, out and ready. <laughs> so. What? And now a part of me will always be with you. You're welcome! Okay, get out of here. You're sorry. I did it for you! I don't want it. I did it for you! I don't want it! You bit my weak old onion! <laughs> What's old? wrong with you? You know I'm allergic to onions? Well, then you're doubly dumb. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I either. didn't think it was real. Hey, but you're very brave. Congratulations. Thank hey, you. up top. You're a nurse. Get out of here. <laughs> bye bye. I remember you, Martha. I love you. Oh, oh, oh. I have to stay through to Martha Bay. Huh. You're milking it. Get out of here. <laughs>